Hey guys, I'm back with the Chow Garden series. Uh, let me quickly switch over to the right channel. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm back with Tails, and we've got uh, these two stubborn Chow that just don't want to evolve. We've got Tempest, and we've got um, Torpedo, if I can get along. There we go. Torpedo, look how brown he looks. He's just he's itching to evolve, obviously. And Tempest is also... Freaking ready to evolve, and then we got Swift over here, and maybe it is Scully. Uh, yeah, we got Scully here as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's what's going on with that now. Um, is Tempest the only one that's still awake? Guessing if I put Tempest uh, on land, uh, it'll fall like straight to Super Saiyan. Dude, did I call it a what? Um, but anyway, are there any fruits left? Because I'm just trying to force these two to evolve at this point. There's a fruit up there. Is it ripe? Oh, I don't think it's ripe. Damn it! <laughs> we're getting so desperate, we're gonna have to go to other gardens and bring in fruit. So let's go to the egg area and uh, steal a fruit. Off. And um, wait, just a second, guys. I will be right back. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. I was just checking something real quick. Now uh, let's take this fruit and uh, start force feeding. Let's do this one fruit, and then, um, you know, that'll be it. Wherever he may be? Tempest is over here. No, that's not Tempest. Okay. Is this Tempest? Yes, it is Tempest. Tempest! Thank you. Actually woke up when I, when I uh, patted. Is that a pat? Yep, nom nom nom. Eat it, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. <gasps> Finally, here we go. Now, this is what happens when a chow evolves. They will, uh, depending on how many uh, uh, animals you gave it of a certain type, then the chow will go into a cocoon, a blue cocoon. Uh, I believe on the PC version, it's actually a, a grey cocoon, which also means death, but anyway. So, the chow will begin to evolve, you can, uh, oh no, you can't take the glitch in this game. In SA2 Battle, you can stick the uh, camera through the shell, and you can see inside of it. You can't do that in here, because it uh, counts as a solid object of, uh, there, counts it as a solid object. And, there we go! That's Tempest, a running chow. Neutral running chow, but you still need to finish it. <laughs> I'll hold you to that, Tempest. So now Tempest evolve. Uh, every time it gets fed, or every time it levels up in running, because it's a running chow, it'll get uh, more stat points. So uh, yeah, the more you know. So that means um, it should be pretty close to evolving as well. Okay, yeah, a bit tired. You can go to sleep early. Um, now, where is... Yes! Okay. Torpedo. Maybe we can actually buy you a fruit. You might, you might want something special. Okay, let's get you, get you something special. Let's just roll. I'm playing his tails because, well, you see Sonic all the time in these chow gardens. So, uh, yeah. Look at all these different colors we can choose from. White, aqua, grey. <laughs> okay, uh, should we buy a chow fruit? Cube fruit or triangle fruit? Yeah, let's go with a, uh, uh, triangle or cube. Cube looks more delicious, honestly. <laughs> Alright, I don't store a chain for you, yada 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 yada. Okay. Now, 
Voila. Where is Torpedo? Where's Torpedo? Um, so you noticed when uh, Tempest evolved, he changed color like quite dramatically. Yeah, Chow, if they're two-tone, like these are, so they change color if they're being uh, packed, if they're being turned to dark or light or anything. Um, these Chow will, because uh, they're just normal two-tones, they will change colors completely when they evolve. Like, see, Tempest used to be blue, um, but now he's like completely green. And he really doesn't like that cute fruit, does he? What are you, Swift? Are you tired? Oh, you're not Swift. Uh, wait, I mean, you're not tired, you are Swift. Yeah, eat this. Yeah, he likes it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yep, yep. You can eat up Swift. I can't wait till one of the colored Chow evolves. These are monotone Chow, okay? So when they evolve, they won't change color, they'll just change shape. Um, but if we breed one of these monotone chow, monotone colors chow, with a um, two-tone chow like uh, Tempest or Torpedo, then they will possibly breed a chow which has, um, which is a two-tone colored chow, and that is clock. So what that means is um, it'll change, it's still like, uh, say, red, but it'll change color. It'll still change color depending on uh, whatever. Ooh, Tails. <laughs> Doesn't look too healthy, bro. And that's still a clock. Still going. Oh my. Should we get... Jesus, that clock... <laughs> still going! <laughs> Alright, now, if that clock will want to end, which it doesn't... Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure that's ready to fall off its ride here. I think how slow the fruit grows in this game compared to SE2 Battle. I'll be, I'll be in the Hero Garden for a while and there's some of this fruit everywhere around this one tree. Eat up, bro! Nom 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 nom! He loves it. Look at him. Yes, don't stop eating, bro. Just keep eating until he becomes a Swim Chow. So, Swim Chow, they get like a greenish, uh, over. They get like a greenish color, but they have like yellow parts around. So yeah, Swim Chow look, look pretty cool. Uh, I like the way that uh, Flying Chow look a lot as well. So get ready to do it. Yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Sweet. Get a uh, good old adorable little uh, torpedo here. Say goodbye to that brown color. Which you might build bricks with. Where's Scully? Scully's over in the back there. Oh, he's hopping, hopping up and down. Now he's questioning something. Why must I hop? Yeah, the one, the one the annoying thing about the cocoons is it takes a while. In SA2 battle, like, you can see the uh, model load in, like, as soon as the cocoon goes completely coloured. Um, then, like, it's, the cocoon still takes a while. Anyway, this is Torpedo, a swim chow. Neutral swim chow. Check it out, kids. Look at this. Torpedo, the swim chow. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, we've got Scully here, who... Uh, we're gonna need to give some more power animals. Power animals. I mean, um, dark fruit, if we have any in the store. Yep, not even hero fruit. Wait, was I hero fruit? It was hero fruit. <clears throat> anyway. So, that's two of our chow evolved. Yeah, I evolved and prepped for life. <laughs> so, uh, good old torpedo doing, his, doing the thing he does best, sleeping. <laughs> and Tempest, all of the chow love to sleep. That's fine, they just evolved. So, oh yeah, they can, they can do a little bit of shut up. Yeah. Okay, now. Let's, um, should we go get some power animals? No, we can't, though. Uh, no, instead, let's go get some, uh, rabbits. 
for Swift because Swift is needing some arms. Alright, let's see if we can get this really quick. That was pretty quick. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at that as the series goes on. You remember last time? A while. Ah, you are a yes. Good thing is, now that the child evolved, we can uh, start to raise the other stats a bit without having to worry about them evolving into those. So, uh, let's see. I do want. I want, but I was poor. Yes. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Thank you. Oh. No, I don't want that. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tails. I don't think I was looking at that far. Problem is the tails, you can't spin dash. I mean, it's not. It's only small. Uh, I was originally going to come into this recording session playing as uh, Gamma, but uh, of course Six Felpa hasn't beaten Gamma's story yet, so I'll have to do it off screen. Because Six Felpa, even though he loves this game to death, he hasn't beaten the whole story. Dude, what's with our luck in the bunnies? Like nothing. That tails. Beach and everything. Roll, Tails. Roll, roll, roll. Get this. Go. Roll, Tails. Roll. I do like how you can roll, Tails. Tails and Knuckles, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh no! Oh jeez, oh jeez. It's because I rolled into a ball. Well, <laughs> there's your lesson, kids. Don't roll into balls. Now again. And hopefully bunnies for learning my lesson. And uh, we've still got one more Tiki we can kill for um, uh, Tiki's are the uh, these things by the way. And okay, why not? Whoop! Thing is, when you go into that section, you can't uh, fly fast enough because the game loads you out of the area because it goes well. No, 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 no second chances. Tails get out here. But no, get out. Okay. That's neat. Now. So let's get uh, Swift raised up a bit. Oh, the to perfect. Mm, perfect. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let's keep doing that. I'm gonna get this going for a little bit. Um, I don't think I'll put it in a montage here because it's not really necessary. I forgot, was this running actually good or was it. Okay, let's go 86. Uh, plus 22. Yeah, it's about a B, I'd say. So it's not bad. Don't see what it's swimming in, it's good anyway. <laughs> okay, so another thing. Because uh, these two have evolved, uh, Tempest and Torpedo, um, 
not now, but a fair bit later, like maybe a few hours in the Chow Garden later, they will start to uh, undergo a second evolution. They don't go into a cocoon, I may have explained this already, but it's a gradual evolution, it happens over time. It doesn't increase any stats, um, like any grades, and it's pu and you can change it at any time, and it's purely just for cosmetics. So what it is, is um, they'll start changing a bit. Uh, so, for example, if you give um, one of them, like if you give Torpedo uh, a bunch of flying animals, then he will start to become a swim fly, a neutral swim fly chow. So there's even more combinations. So our chow be can become f uh, one of five plus more chow. Because now there's, there's not just that, there's even combining it, so there's swim, power, fly, like three different ones, like, oh god, that, that's, that's a bit complicated. I'm just, just going to say that right off the bat. Let's get you raised up a bit. I suppose it's a Just to annoy you, uh, in case you wanted to get to 40. There's no. I will be okay. Like that? Yeah, he likes it. He's scully. Just doing the life. Let's go check for uh, dark fruit, because we need that. Just a little bit. Ah, uh, good. Okay, dark fruit. So we'll give a fruit we'll give a few dark fruit to uh, what's his name? Scully. Scully! This really annoys me how often you go in and out of the gun. Whoop! Their location did changed. You are Torpedo. Where is Scully? Good thing he likes peppers. Giant peppers that are as big as him. <laughs> okay, no, 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 you have to eat all of it. You silly chow! Silly! I can't remember if the ball on the head became uh, yellow if they're becoming a dark power or if they're becoming power. I can't remember. Let's just hope that it does um, become. Now, what do we want to do? I do want to, like, in this recording session, I do want to move our chow over to, like, a different chow. Because I do want some chow. Alright, how many different chow we got here? We got, wait, 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 do we have a shiny chow here? I don't know, we have the, um, the jewel silver chow here. We had just a Actually, wait, 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 we can, uh, check. Let's go to Station Square. I'm thinking of actually getting rid of all of the regular two-tone chows that come, you know, that spawn in the, uh, in the chow gardens as eggs. Because we can easily breed one of them by just breeding Torpedo and, uh, Tempest. Because chow are gender neutral. Um... So yeah, I'm thinking of getting rid of all of them, but we'll keep uh, the other chow, the um, the jewel chow and that black chow, or is it grey chow? I don't know. No, it's black. Or is it two-tone grey? See, I've seen some uh, some things that say two-tone grey, but that might just be the uh, Dreamcast version. Okay, so we've got Tempest, Torpedo, Scully, and Swift, right? And you can see it says Run Type and Swim Type now. Now. So I'm thinking of getting rid of these two. Um, keep these two, of course. And I'll get rid of these two. Yeah, I think we'll go do that now. Because I don't like to have so many chow right off the bat. It's sort of unnecessary how many eggs they give you. They give you six eggs right off the bat. Technically, they give you nine... Uh, chow eggs off the bat because they give you two eggs per garden that spawn naturally, and then they give you um, 
uh, three in the overworld, in the hot worlds. So yeah, that's nine chow right off the bat that you get for free, and that's sort of excessive. <laughs> So adorable, he's gonna live in far away land. Of magical uh, things. Let's go with that. Yep. So I don't know if I've shown this off in the series before. You never see the same child again, you sure? Yep. Uh, if not, uh, it's sad music and everything. It really made me sad a long, long time ago when I first started playing this. Like, holy crap, if I get rid of this child, I'm gonna see it again. Poor Chow in the picture and everything up. Yeah, it made me really sad, so I never released a Chow until like really recently. Oh no, I might have released Chow, I don't remember. I did it really so long ago, I don't remember, but like at all. So the reason, again, we're getting rid of these uh, uh, regular, normal, coloured, two tone Chow is because we can easily breed them like whenever we want, and we've got like four that we need to get rid of. So, uh, yeah. That's why. Out there. And then Egg Carrier. God, I can't wait to start raising Chow in the Egg Carrier Garden. It's gonna be so great. And that is a clock. And this is a Chow we are definitely gonna keep. Gold Chow. Jewel Chow looks so cool. But they look even cooler in SA2. Um, both versions just as well. Not exactly easily acquirable. Acquired. Obtainable. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this twice already. It's, yeah, sad. Except when you just press the buttons quickly. The song gets a lot sadder the longer it goes on. Um, good thing we still have the shells to build up our shell collection. You. Oops. It's okay, you're gonna look them out, so you're gonna have to see Tails again. If I put him down, he's, he should start shivering. Sorry. Oh, he's, he's just sniffling. He's it's okay, I'm gonna put you in a uh, safe place. <laughs> the mountains in the, in, the wild, uh, in the wilderness. Where there are deadly animals everywhere. Say hi to Froggy for me. No, I said I said deadly. <laughs> Good night, sleep tight. Okay, now let me go check this black chow. Where's the black chow? So I'm gonna check him. Here he is. Out here on the beach, next to the rocks. Is he two tone? I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure he's just a regular black chow. Yeah, he's got it. This might have just been the Dreamcast version of where he was. Hey. Uh, two turn grey. Where? Okay, I want to put one of the chowns up with a missile, because I do love doing that. I always love doing that. Um, where the hell? This is the problem with the freaking um, egg carrier gun. It's so big. It's too big for its own good. No, it's just a regular eggshell. Dude. Where? There we go. Oh, they're both here. Okay. Got one on top of the missile. Just because it's so gorgeous. Yes, yes. You would have thought instead of a black chow, they would have given us like a bronze chow, so that way we get like, you know, gold, silver, bronze. But no, no such thing as a bronze chow. How do you like it up here on top of the missile? Let's see if cool. Whoop! <laughs> Down he goes. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay. Anyway. Let's get back to your stitches. Well. So eventually I do want to make the egg carrier garden our main garden. Which we can actually do now. We can do it whenever we want. But I also do want to uh, spend time in Mr. Grill's garden. So, uh, yeah. I'm just... I've, I'm sick of this garden. I've spent so many hours over the years in this garden. I just want to change up the scenery a bit. So now that Tempest is evolved, we can raise up the running a little bit. 
Now 18, it goes to 48. That is 30. <laughs> Dude, that's like an S, I swear. 27? Dude, that's gotta be an S. Or it could just be like a freaking amazing A. Dude, in three levels he got 100 points. So, 1,101. Plus 28, Jesus Christ. See, this is this is how good Temps is going to be at running. Like, his stat's going to end up in the 2000s, at least. 2500s, even. Maybe. Oh, Swift, why do you have to mess things up? Oh, whoops. Crap. Wait, wait, I can't. Oh, I didn't even get the... Ugh. How you doing, Torpedo? You know what? Look how cute his smile is. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, how about we give you an otter? We start raising up your swimming a little bit. That's not what I want to do, Tess. What's he doing? Oh, he's drawing. Who's he drawing? I guess it's a picture of Sonic. Oh, picture of Sonic. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to interrupt the drawing there to bring you this uh, broadcast of Otter. Constantly holding his shell around his crotch. Of course he is. I don't know why, but if you guys have uh, seen the Otter in Sonic Adventure 2, it's the same animal, does the same thing, raises, swim, and run. Um, but for some reason they made the otter green in, uh, Adventure 2. No clue why, but, <laughs> I mean, okay. So let's check the, uh, stats we get every time. So it's a 26 now, 53, so that's like... Dude, that's pretty good, that's, uh... Well, let me go from 53 to 26, because... 25, not bad. That's an A. Easy. 27, not bad, not bad at all. So yeah, it's gotta be an A for uh, to be able to swim. So I'll raise it up a bit. See, I do want to let one of these two, uh, the new two, Scully or Swift evolve. Scully first, obviously, evolve before we start, um, you know, raising up any other Chow. So once one of those two evolves, then we'll start uh, moving Chow over to the Mystic Ruins Garden. We spent a bit of time in here, and I'm sick of, <laughs> God, I'm sick of this garden. It'll just make um, going in the hub world a little bit more annoying, because then we got to go from Station Square to Mr. Gruens all the time, but that's okay. She'd be right. So let's get up to like, I don't know, 65 or something. No montage necessary. So, uh, I'm wondering what to do with Torpedo here. Make it a, a neutral swim, neutral swim fly, neutral swim swim, neutral swim run, neutral swim power. Who knows? Or one of the uh, extra ones. Like neutral swim power fly or something. Although, if you make it a uh, neutral swim power, it becomes what's known as a sumo chow, where the fat, where the um, chow gets really fat and it gets really adorable. It's it's pretty cute. Um, you just take the rest of it. So maybe we'll make a torpedo a sumo chow. It's pretty adorable. Oh, hop, 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 That's so adorable. I love when they hop. It's so funny. Let's go. Oh, it's because I accidentally whistled. So you came. That's really cute. Okay. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. What stages does Tails do? He does Sky Deck, Speed Highway, EK, 
can do on the coast. Um, I don't know what Sky Deck has, because I'm looking for power arms, right? Ice Cap. Well, let's check. You know what? Let's go to Casino Plus and see what. Um... Well, first, let's go to the black one. Just, just check. 